Today we have some exciting news to share with all Blender enthusiasts out there. Blender 4.0 Alpha has been released. We'll be going through the release notes and taking a deep dive into some of the new features and updates. First up, we have major updates in the Python API and Mesh department. The Mesh format changes from previous versions are now included in the Blender file format. This significantly reduces overhead when saving files and file sizes. Keep in mind, however, that while Blender 3.6 can read files from 4.0, earlier versions will not be able to. Another significant change is the moving of bevel weights to a generic attribute. The old access to bevel weights has been removed in favor of the new attribute API, and the sculpt underscore vertex underscore colors API has been replaced by mesh.color attributes. Now let's talk about shader nodes. The glossy BSDF and anisotropic BSDF nodes have been merged. This new merge node is called shader node BSD Fanisotropic in the Python API. You can still use shader node BSDF Glossy as an alias when creating nodes, but this will result in a shader node BSDF Fanisotropic being created. It's recommended for add-ons and scripts to replace the usage of shader node BSDF Glossy with shader node BSDF Fanisotropic for future compatibility. On the modeling front, there's a cool new option that allows navigation in the 3D view during transformation. This option can be accessed in the key map settings and should enhance your 3D navigation experience while transforming objects. User interface improvements are always welcome, and this update brings a few of them. Rotational inputs are now displayed with maximum precision for better accuracy. The file browser volume and system item tooltips no longer mention renaming. Additionally, the options panel accessed in object mode and mesh edit mode has been reorganized for improved usability. So that's an overview of what you can expect from Blender 4.0 Alpha. Remember, this is still in its alpha stage, so be sure to keep up with future updates for even more features and improvements. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, see you in the next one.